What is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon After Patrick, back at it again. And today, I'm going to be doing something that some of you guys who have been on the channel for quite some time may be familiar with. Um, as some of you guys have known, throughout the years, I have done multiple scenarios in which I reacted my old video. Well, because we're coming up on three years, I decided I decided I decided to go back and view three of my cringiest, and I mean beyond cringy, cringier than the can you dab Q and A. No gunshots. You can't get much cringier than that. I'm sorry, but I have found three of those videos. I found three of those videos in which I will be sharing with you guys today. So let's get right into that. So the first one we have here is a shitty quality recorded in 360p. Because back then I didn't know 720 or 1080p existed. So the first video we have here is. I think it was a another pep talk. Hello, everybody. This is Tina Sharp. Tina Sharp. Tina Sharp. Tina Sharp. What? What the fuck? Um. What was that? Tina Sharp. Oh my god! First of all, back then, back then. My YouTube channel was uh, known as Cowgirl Trouble or Tina Sharp, which was my mom's account. Six years ago, I've been doing YouTube on this channel for almost three, and I don't think I've ever used my mom's name in any of my intros. Hey guys, this is uh, Tina Sharp. Bitch, what? And then, I mean, I understand. I was young back then. I understand that. But like, still... The fact that I called myself Tina Sharp to a different viewer who didn't know that was my mom. I mean, they're gonna think I'm a freaking homo. Let's get back into this. Cowgirl Trouble, bringing you a video today. It's another chat or pep. A what? A a pep talk? What incarnation is that? Talk or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> with, my, call it. Uh, with another talk of the latest videos. Another? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did I say another taco? I I don't even know, man. These older videos, dude, they're just reminding me of who- I don't even believe that I was this guy. This kid- this was like 2013, I believe, is when these videos were made. So that was like a long time ago. For some of you guys, that may not seem like a long time, but for me, it doesn't even feel like it. But it really was. And it's hard enough to believe that I was this kid making videos, not even knowing what I'm doing. I mean, I still don't because I still have to think about what I'm going to make for content. But I mean, back then, I mean, things were just weird. I mean, for me to be doing what I'm doing now and just sitting in a room and just talking, looking at a camera directly like I am now, it was just like the weirdest thing to me. And a lot of people say they can do that, but... I mean, when you really get into the the thing of YouTube and the uh, scheme of things of that, I mean, you really become to realize how hard it is to do YouTube. Because, I mean, a lot of people think that YouTube is an easy job. To me back then, I thought it was. Because I never edited or anything like that. But nowadays, I mean, you see the you see this. The, you, you may not see it personally, but if you guys have ever done YouTube videos, edited... That you guys understand how hard it is to be able to push videos, be able to be on that grind, and it's it's hard. And back then, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I just uploaded videos and didn't really care. But I mean, now I do because, you know, I can see a potential future. I don't know if you guys believe that, but I can see a future in YouTube as a backup plan in case I don't like the major I'm going into. So, I mean, it's always that fallback option. And back then, I just did YouTube for fun, and I still do it now like that, but... Now I still, I have a future that I could probably withstand. Back then, I didn't because I didn't even know how to gain a subscriber. That are coming up because now I do have bandy cam for my computer. Frickin' bandy cam. It wasn't even the full version. Computer. Well, it's gonna come on today. Okay, guys. Um, I, I know I'm going off on every little detail here, but like, for me, like, this is kind of crucial to my career. Because, I mean, these videos got me to where I'm at today. Without even self consciously without even self consciously believing this, I am who I am today because of this. And I know that's hard to believe because this kid's a freaking ugly kid that kinda looks like a pedophile right now just because like his face or my face I should say. But back then, I mean, I was in middle school I believe. I think it was a seventh grader in two thousand thirteen. Yeah. Because I just uh got out of elementary and now I'm a senior, like, that's bizarre, dude, like, it, it goes quick. But, five years ago, or six years ago, when this video was made, compared to today's video, I would say this video got me to this position, because I wanted to work harder, and become who I am. Like, a lot of people don't understand how much of this 
correlates to my channel today. So there won't be a video to probably till tomorrow because I do have practice for sports. And but anyway. Okay. Why is the camera so close to my face? First of all, I mean the lighting in my room wasn't the best. I mean no lights back then or no camera was even that good of quality to withstand the lighting in my room. Like back nowadays my camera would be able to probably handle the same uh, scene because I still have the same room as I did back then. But I mean back then my camera quality was, what was it, iPhone, no it wasn't even iPhone, I didn't have an iPhone back then. I had an iPod Touch, which iPod Touch back then, like, I don't know if you guys were, were old enough to remember that, but most of my younger audience would not remember how how bad the cameras were on iPhones back then. And no phone was good, because this was like the early stages of uh, technology and phones and iPods and all that crap. And an iPod Touch now is basically non-existent, and that's what I used to record a lot of my videos back then. It's just a fun fact. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like Let's Play. I'm going to get my Minecraft Comes Alive to work. To work. But oh if you God. guys can leave comments on how to actually make it, like to get my mods hooked up and all that, please do. Um, <sighs> I like how I apologize for that. I mean, I only went like 41 seconds into that video. And, I mean, there was just so many things in that little scheme of things that I was just able to talk about because, I mean, there was just so many things wrong in those 41 seconds that now I look back and it was just like, why did I do that? You know? Well, I'm going to just end this here. This is bad. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see me react to more of my older videos in the future, remember to show by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, fuck the subscribe button like a champion. But as always, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye bye <laughs> Yeah. I don't care about no motherfucking whip. No, I don't care about no, no whip. Put that diamonds on your wrist. Put that diamonds on your wrist. There's more to life than this, yeah. Yeah. I got you insecure. Turn your whole